lock slash key the board told me about? doing my job. <sighs> First one down. Director Faden's got this covered.
Hey! Emily, how did she get down here? What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire Bureau, and possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? I put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. Don't be a stranger. If it isn't my favorite director. Jesse, you're back. So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards, except for bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the Rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm going to assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number.
The Rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the Foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. <laughs>